Wow. My package from Russia finally arrived. So excited. It's time for an unboxing, but first, I have to get this open. You didn't really think I was gonna do that, did you? Oh yeah, here it is. This is the latest in Russian military night vision technology. Okay, just kidding. But this is the best camera to get if you want to try out film photography. You might have heard that film is dead, and I think for all practical purposes and professional purposes, it's true. But film can be fun, and film is a nice way to slow down and practice some techniques that you may have lost or may have dulled while you've been shooting digital. So if you're thinking about getting into film, there's one camera that I really like above all the rest, and that would be the Yashica Mat. This funky looking camera is called a twin lens reflex camera. Twin lens because it has two lenses on the front. One lens is for looking through and one lens is actually for taking where the light goes through and reaches the film. When you focus the camera it actually moves both lenses at the same time so you're seeing the same thing that the film will see. You look through this camera by looking down. This is the viewfinder which pops up and you look straight down into the camera when you're taking a photo and you see the image inverted on a piece of ground glass. Why is this the best camera? There's a bunch of things it has going for it. One is that you can find them very cheaply. These are all antique store or Craigslist finds. This camera, this older Yashka mat, I found at an antique store for $80 with the original case, the unbroken neck strap, the lens cap, the original box, and the instruction manual, which is a pretty good find. This slightly newer uh, Yashka Mat 124 has a light meter, but the light meter doesn't really work that well. And I purchased this off of Craigslist for $125. One of the first reasons to go with one of these cameras, as opposed to a 35 millimeter camera like the ones on the shelf behind me, a Canon or a Nikon, is that the Yashka Mat uses medium format 6x6 centimeter film. So this is a 6x6 centimeter negative, and then this is a 35 millimeter negative. 35 millimeters is a full frame size. So you can see that a 6x6 negative is almost four times as big. And four times the size means a lot when you're going to scan it later or print from it. 6x6 is big enough that you can scan it and get the resolution of a digital camera but it's not too big that you'll have difficulty scanning it. You can buy an Epson scanner for a couple hundred dollars, maybe $150 to scan your negatives at this size. Another great thing this camera has going for it is that it has all the features that you need in one fairly compact package. You have the viewfinder, you have a shoot through viewfinder, there's a magnifying lens, you don't need any batteries since the entire camera can be operated mechanically. This is the winding crank on the side. Here's the shutter button. This control changes the aperture with the widest aperture being f3.5. This dial over here changes the shutter speed. And on this side, this wheel is your focus wheel. Because it's a square format, you don't have to worry about landscape or portrait orientation. You're going to get the same photo whether you shoot this way, this way, or this way. The film loads in the bottom. You can see right here, it goes from this reel across this opening. This is where the picture is taken, and then it goes onto this reel right here. With medium format film and a 6x6, you're going to get 12 shots per roll. On a medium format camera, 80 millimeters is about the same as a 40 millimeter lens on what you would think of as a full frame camera or a 35 millimeter camera. It's not too wide or too telephoto. It's kind of right in the middle where you can still do portraits and landscapes with the same lens. And lastly, this is a discrete camera. 
because it doesn't look like the typical camera, and because you're looking down when you shoot, a lot of people don't even recognize it as a camera. You can be walking around on a city street with the camera at chest level, looking down and shooting, and people won't even realize that you're looking at them or taking a photo. I wouldn't recommend this camera unless I had actually used it a lot. This camera right here has been with me on a number of trips to Austin, to Dallas, for street photography, for landscape, for portraits. So I'll show you some of those photos next. In my opinion, the Yashka Mat is one of the best cameras to get if you'd like to get into film photography. If there's a film camera that you like or you have a recommendation, I'd like to hear from you, so post it in the comments below. See you guys on the next episode of Retro Panda. Yeah.